Today I'll show you how to create an annotated works cited by using Google Docs on your iPad. First, you want to use ZBib or your databases to collect works cited entries. Plug them into your Google Doc. And then from there, you want to highlight all and make sure everything is double spaced. Title it works cited. Should be centered. Eliminate any extra spaces. Now you want to do what's called a hanging indent. Hit enter on the second line of every entry and then click that right hand button of indent right in the top upper right hand of the screen. Make sure your titles are italicized, titles of books, websites, and magazines all need to be in italics. After you've made sure to italicize titles, then you want to make sure everything is in alphabetical order by the first word in your entry. So that gardener, I want to put it there in front of high density potato planting. And then let's see, we've got poxy needs to move up in front of Pierce. Great. Check everything. Yep. Alphabetical order. Fantastic. Now I'm going to check the formatting, make sure it's one inch all around. And I also want to make sure it's portrait, not landscape. Great. A few more things to add. We've got to make sure to annotate. Annotation should be one inch from the left margins and they should summarize or evaluate those credibility of sources. They should not include minor information or site evidence or even include quotes and they should be very brief. So I'm going to put an annotation now into my works cited and I'm going to summarize my interview of Lance Mellon. There we go. Brief summary. In this case it's three or four sentences. Highlight the whole thing and once again I hit that indent button. It's in the very top right. It's going to move it over another half inch. So you'll see there's left justified with melon, then a hanging indent underneath it, and the whole annotation is over one inch. Need to make sure my name, my teacher's name, the class, and the day, month, and year are up in the top, top left corner. Double space like everything else, there's no extra spaces. I also need to include my last name and page number in the header. So I choose page number from the plus button, choose the one that gives me the upper right hand option. I put my last name, hit space. Now on every page it will have last name, space, and the correct page number. There we go. We've got all the details we need in an annotated work cited. If you've got questions, contact us. We'd love to hear from you. You can Reach us at live chat or si underscore librarians at siprep.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Love, the library.